Hello. Today I'd like to talk about um, a very important uh, issue relating to Pakistan, which is a lot in the media these days, especially social media, and it relates to promoting Pakistan's positive image, soft image uh, vis-a-vis its uh, many, many tourist attractions, natural beauty, especially in the north, also lots of beaches in the south, and uh, lots of variety as far as its uh, <clears throat> natural beauty is concerned. Uh, what we've seen is, uh, off late, we've seen lots of uh, Western vloggers, bloggers, uh, YouTube people come here and do videos, vlogs and all promoting Pakistan. And we also saw the Pakistan Tourism Summit uh, a month or so ago where, uh, unfortunately, most of those invited to speak were not Pakistani. And so I'd earlier also said that the many contributions and the many uh, substantial contributions of local vloggers had been ignored. Uh, now today there's been a, a story that uh, another group of uh, Western travel enthusiasts, vloggers, is, is visiting Pakistan, which is fine and it's all good. But we need to give a, a picture to the rest of the world that is accurate. Um, one that talks about shortcomings in infrastructure, shortcomings in facilities, and also that people who travel to Pakistan need to be mindful of local cultures and traditions and all. Something that doesn't seem to come across in these uh, presentations given by the Western vloggers, and we need to take that into account. So we would like to advise those uh, inviting them and those arranging them, especially the government, uh, that yes, it's a good strategy to get Western vloggers and bloggers who are based in the west to come and do this so that they can their audiences will realize and how good pakistan it is but we need to give a more accurate picture and uh, that also means inviting uh, domestic vloggers and also like uh, not giving a one-sided view of things that it's all hunky-dory and all rosy